When I called Clinton a Wall Street puppet, they called me a right-wing extremist. When I said the same about George W. Bush, they called me an anti-war communist. Now that I'm against Obama for the same reasons, mainline conservatives embrace me. When I attack the next right-wing saviour, they're going to call me a communist again. This video is the most important video that I'll ever make. Reasons to unsubscribe from Daily Rant Australia. I often get hate-filled emails or comments telling me that they can't believe that I believe in this or that. People inevitably threaten to unsubscribe from me. Is that even a threat? If you don't want to subscribe to me, fine. It's no skin off my teeth. I've got bigger things to worry about like YouTube trying to take me down. Over the last 30 days, I've had negative 62,000 views. Hmm, go figure. How do you even get a negative view? Can people unwatch my videos? Anyway, just to make it easier on my viewership, here's an honest and accurate list of reasons why people unsubscribe from Daily Rant Australia. I recommend that everyone watch this video first so you know whether or not I'm going to upset you at some point in the future. To be fair, I'd rather people unsubscribe from me than abuse me. Number 1. I believe in climate change. <gasps> Although, I think believe is the wrong word to use here. It would be like saying, I believe in gravity. Either gravity is real, or it's not. Disbelieving in gravity doesn't change the facts. Similarly, climate change is either real, or it's not. It just so happens that it is. There is no denying that the world is getting warmer, but that's not really what people are debating. The debate is whether or not people are responsible for climate change or not. My argument is that people are burning huge amounts of coal, oil and gas and pumping billions of tonnes of CO2 into the atmosphere every year, not to mention our relentless cutting down of forests, one of the planet's biggest carbon sinks, and the mass pollution of our oceans, another major carbon sink. Even if you don't believe that all of this man-made pollution is causing the climate to change, surely you can agree that pollution is not good for your health and well-being. Its only benefit is that it's allowed the economy to grow. There's no doubt in my mind that we have to, and will, transition to a low-carbon economy. And quite frankly, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. People don't like pollution and all of its negative effects. We can only outsource our pollution to China, or Malaysia, or wherever, for as long as their population are willing to accept the pollution, which isn't much longer, mind you. China is sick of being the world's garbage dump, as we've seen with the recent foreign waste ban, and its residents are tired of breathing in toxic fumes from their factories with all the associated health risks and cancers and so on. If the Communist Party of China wish to remain in power, which I'm sure they do, ultimately they'll have no other choice but to transition to a low-carbon economy. If they transition, so do we. Number 2. My voting preferences. I don't vote Liberal. <gasps> I don't vote Labor. <gasps> I vote for the Greens. <coughs> Does this mean I agree with every one of their policies? No, of course not. There's plenty of their policies that I actively disagree with. On the flip side, I agree with some Liberal policies and I agree with some Labor policies. Just because I vote a particular way does not mean I should be closed to all other parties' ideas and policies. And that's true for all of you. Number 3. I'm a vegan. Yes, I'm from the planet Vega. I'm not a militant vegan. If you want to eat meat, I'm not going to stop you. I don't force my children to be vegan. If they want to eat meat, I let them. I'm a vegan for three reasons. Animals, health and the environment. Enough said. Number four. I'm not an atheist. But I'm also not religious. What does that make me? I don't know. You figure it out. Number five. I'm not gay but I support the LGBTIQA plus community. If you don't like me supporting that community, then perhaps you should unsubscribe now. Number six. I'm not a leftist, nor a rightist, nor anything in between. I think those terms are stupid. To say that you only support the right and disagree with everything on the left, or vice versa, is bordering on lunacy. Not one person can possibly agree with everything a single person or group has to say. If you honestly do, then you're blindly following an extremist. Intelligent and educated people should look at each individual issue and make a judgment based on individual merit. To do otherwise, Otherwise, is just blind zealotry. It's okay if you're a Liberal and disagree with ScoMo. It's okay if you're a Labor supporter and disagree with Albo. Heaven forbid, if you're a Trump supporter, 
It's okay if you disagree with the Don. This is not the Mafia. If you're not allowed to disagree with these people, then guess what? You're no longer living in a democracy. 